Hey guys, today we are going to be doing a 2022 analyst of the Ohio Senate race, which is really interesting because of its interesting polls, you could say. Um, so let's just uh, look at it right now and talk about it. So right now, 538, um, I believe on, oh, that's classic. On deluxe mode, J.D. Vance is very favored to win with a 70... 70, sorry, 79 and 100 chance of winning with Tim Ryan only have 21. And if we do light mode, which is only based off polls, though, you can see that Tim Ryan is leading. The polls in Ohio have been very interesting. If you look here, Vance Vance has been leading only three polls. A lot of these, though, these are not reliable pollsters, though. This is probably the best pollster that we have gotten from this race. And it has a um, Vance up by only three points, which is not too impressive. And that's the most recent and best poll. All these other polls are really not good. But they're still showing Ryan leading in a state that Trump won by eight points. It's still something. And even if, like, even if they are biased, it's still a good sign. 11 points, that is still a good sign. I think, personally, Tim Ryan is not going to win. This is a state that I think Tim Ryan, though, Tim Ryan is the best candidate for Ohio. Um, He is really moderate um, on trade, defund the police, and on other issues, he's pretty conservative, you could say, or moderate on those issues. But that's the thing that's really good. That's uh, candidate quality. And that's why I think that um, you know, a lot of Ohioans, uh, like, uh, more of them are independents um, than Republicans, and they usually vote with Donald Trump. But I do feel like Tim Ryan has some, um, some Trump voters are appealed to him, but I don't think it's going to be enough for him to win the polls. So, like, basically the average shows him uh, Ryan leading by 1.2. And here's some more of these are all the polls. Even this... John Bolton Super PAC, a partisan sponsor for the Republican Party, has Ryan up by six. Um, these are like that's a, like if a by if a look, this is a big deal. A Democrat in Ohio up by six points in a eight um part in a state with an eight plus partisan lean, and also a poll that is a partisan sponsor for the Republican Party. That is a big deal. Now, I don't think this means Ryan's going to win. He does not really have a chance of winning. He can maybe win in the best-case scenario, but that would be likely. That would have to be really, really good a year for the Democrats, which is not really right as of now. But as you can see, these polls are favoring Ryan. But here's the thing. J.D. Vance... Um. I feel like Ryan is leading in the polls, though, too, because I feel like even though J.D. Vance will win, I do think J.D. Vance's campaign is not the best campaign that he can do. I think Tim Ryan has a better campaign, and, sorry, and that, but J.D. Vance will win from anywhere from four to six points or even more. This is Ohio we're talking about, but I do think Ryan is a strong candidate. Um... Also, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. This is a shorter video. I honestly do not know what I had to say for this. Um, tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, tell me what, um, Senate race I should do next. I really do not have a lot too much to say about this. Even, um, everything I basically said is all I really have to say. Um, and I don't want to stay here all day because I know you guys do not want to be here all day either. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys again soon. And yeah, t- also tell me what state I should do next in Senate Analyst. This will be a main focus on my channel from now on. Um, also with governors, maybe House, I'll, we'll see. Um, but North Carolina, Ohio, Georgia, Nevada, Arizona, Pennsylvania, any other Senate race you want me to cover, I will cover if you guys tell me in the comments down below. Thank you guys um, for watching. I'll see you guys again soon.